Welcome to National Park Wild. I'm Eric, continuing today in 2020 National Park Recap. Before this trip, I had been to seven of California's nine national parks, and Redwood was one of the two I had not been to. So now, I'm finally visiting it, and my thoughts on the park? Let's find out. So, it began in the morning. It was a kind of cloudy, foggy day, as you would expect in the Pacific Northwest. And we went to the Lady Bird Johnson Grove. It's very beautiful, and the trees are cool and tall, and I enjoy that. However, I was actually a lot more captivated by the bright green ferns that are also quite large in size. I thought they were really beautiful and complimented the trees. We were the only people on the trail, and we saw this green frog and some stellar jays. I thought it was a really nice trail, quiet, did feel like a different world in a few ways, honestly. And I see why a lot of people really like this trail in this park. It was a very nice start. I definitely enjoyed it, and after that, we continued to go to a few of the lesser-known places. We went to some of the beaches in the southwest area. The first one we went to, I believe, was called Crescent Beach. It was quiet, we saw some birds, there were some rocks. To get there, you have to drive on an unpaved road, so keep that in mind if you go. It was a very nice beach, seeing it was cool, and there was plenty of bird life around it. Actually, I should probably mention a few of the other birds. There's a lot of endangered bird species at Redwood National Park. We saw cormorants. Those aren't as uncommon. But we saw this little green bird here and this brown one. They were cute. And the next stop we did was Fern Canyon. Easily the highlight of the park for me. Fern Canyon is a really cool site. It's exactly what you would expect based on the name. A canyon of ferns. And you can see this creek going through it crystal clear really is a miniature canyon. It feels like a set out of Jurassic Park, and it actually is a set for Jurassic Park. It wasn't built as one, but it was used as one. I thought that was really cool, and I really, really enjoyed this trail. Definitely my favorite part of the park, and incredibly beautiful. After that, we went to Elk Prairie, a common place to see bull elk, and we saw three of them in this area. That was really nice. I thought it was really cool. I enjoy elk, and these guys had some of the largest antlers I had ever seen on an elk. A really nice sight, and definitely a cool place to stop. Keep in mind, it is in the state park. There are multiple state parks that kind of are jointly managed with Redwood, so if you pay for one, you get the other. So you can go to all the state parks and national parks. After going to Elk Prairie, we drove up to some of the other beaches further up, like Gold Bluffs. And I should mention the one big issue with Redwood... And that is that you have to drive through a lot of towns to get from place to place. And that does kind of bother me. But this overlook here at the beach was really beautiful. There's a lot of nice beaches. The Yurok Loop is really cool. I enjoyed that very much. It's a very pretty park. The beaches are secluded, have cool rocks around them. The only issue is driving in and out of towns does kind of make the park feel less wild. That said, the Newton B. Drury Scenic Parkway is beautiful. You will not be very crowded, and there's not a lot of traffic. You're going amongst the redwoods, which is really cool. You'll go over some bridges. It's a quiet, nice drive with some nice scenery and really beautiful. In the northern areas of the park, there's the Stout Memorial Grove and Simpson Reed Grove, where you have some fallen trees, more ferns, very pretty stuff. And then, of course, I should mention the river. There's a really beautiful river going along the trail at Stout Memorial Grove. Really nice color. Definitely out of the Pacific Northwest. I really enjoy that. And the scenery here is just very nice. We saw a caterpillar, and we saw some fish in the water, and I just really did enjoy this place. The driving in the park is nice. The hikes are good. It's quiet. The scenery is surreal. The only things holding it back for me compared to other parks on this trip or that I prefer mountains and desert to forests and beaches, and the fact that you drive through towns does somewhat dampen the experience. That said, I don't necessarily dislike a park for being more built up and having more buildings, but I appreciate the parks that have less of that. That said, Red was a very great park, enjoyable, and it's much less crowded than you might expect. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below your thoughts. I will be ranking the 9 California parks in my next video. Like the video if you enjoyed, and we're almost at 100 subscribers, I really hope you'll help me get to that. I'll see you next time.